Now, if we want our generic to accept all types, we can have it extend object, which every class in Java inherits from. But instead of using question mark extends object, we can just simplify this to the question mark. So this code would print any type of object, no matter its type. So we have the code right here. And lastly, we have our lower bounded wildcards. And suppose we want the opposite effect of the upper bounded wildcards. So we want a lower bound instead of an upper bound. So we use the word super with the question mark. And for example, if we have question mark super integer, this would specify all the super classes such as integer, number, and object. All right, cool. So that about sums it up for this tutorial. If you like this and learned a lot, please subscribe and I'll see you later.